so this is what we had discussed in the last video and we had seen that that our resultant the magnitude of the resultant is given by a square plus 2ab cos theta a square plus 2ab cos theta plus b square and square root of that okay and we had also seen that 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 the tan alpha is tan alpha is nothing but but b sin theta upon a plus b cos theta and you have to be aware that this is the angle that it makes with the vector a designating the vector as a and b is completely your choice but somehow if you designate this as a then never forget that you'll get this angle that is the root of so many mistakes that we make even though we know and understand what is happening right so you first designate it make a graph of it like this that will never lead to a mistake right and this is something that that looks a bit weird but but it is not if you just understand that we are operating on that that we have been operating on on this this triangle right so 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 that will make things clear right we are operating on this right triangle correct and 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 if this is b and if, if this is b vector right so so this is in undoubtedly b sin theta and this is nothing but this from 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 the end of a this is nothing but b cos theta right b cos theta so it in effect becomes b sin theta upon a plus b cos theta so nothing to remember there this is known as the cosine rule this is known as the cosine rule and also if you remember appears in mathematics in a different format it appears in mathematics as as r square is equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab plus 2ab cos theta right this can be written as this can be written as a square plus b square minus r square minus r square is equal to minus 2ab cos theta and cos theta is equal to a square plus b square minus r square upon 2ab here it is or you can say minus cos theta is that okay minus cos theta is that so in mathematics if we have any say say triangle okay and let us say if this is a and and say this is b this here is incidentally r right and if this angle is phi right then then it is defined in the proper manner that 
that that cos phi is equal to a square plus b square minus r square upon 2ab right here there is a negative the reason is that this theta is equal to pi this this phi is pi minus theta because we have taken this angle to be theta right So here are phi is pi minus theta and if you put pi minus theta here then this will hold good. Understand? And this in maths is called a cosine rule. So no wonder this is a cosine rule. Right? We were dealing with this angle. Fine. So what, what does it say? It says that that cos phi, cos phi is nothing but but the sum of the squares of the sides that are including that angle and you subtract the third side and divide it by 2 into the product of the adjacent sides of that angle, right? This is what it is. So this is in effect a cosine rule and you should be able to look at it like a cosine rule, fine? Okay, fine. Now, now, now let's try to, to see. If I designate this as angle beta, okay. Now let's see what happens. This, say, say. Let us say this is A, this is B, this as C and this is D and this as E, right? This is E. Fine. Now, what is EC in, in triangle? Let, let us try to understand. What we are going to establish now is known as the sine formula. That is the sine formula. Now, let us say, let us see, in triangle, in triangle A, C, E, Okay, what do we have? We have, we have our CE as, CE as R sine alpha, as R sine alpha. Okay, and, and if I take, if I take the triangle BCE, we have C E as as B sine theta. Is it not? C E in this triangle, okay, in the bigger triangle first of all, it is perpendicular upon hypotenuse. So C upon R is equal to sine alpha, right? And here it is, it is C upon B, where B is the length of this this BC that this upon that is equal to sine theta and since they are equal right so R sine alpha is equal to B sine theta right so so what happens R upon sine theta becomes equal to B upon sine alpha 
right? Right? So this is one of the equations. Now, let me draw, let me draw a, 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 a perpendicular from this point to this, right? Let me draw this perpendicular. Okay. And let's call this, this F. Right now, what is the length of BF if I consider the triangle AFB? Okay, so so what is it? Let me let me kind of make some space here fine, so that the figure is bit inside. So, so let us say we, we, we come here in triangle ABF. What do we have? What do we have? If, if, if I take this as perpendicular, right? So, so BF upon hypotenuse A is equal to perpendicular is this, right? So opposite, opposite side is the perpendicular. So, so this is sine alpha, right? So that is sine alpha. So, so we have BF is equal to A sine alpha. Right? If I come through this triangle, triangle in triangle CFB, okay, in triangle CFB, the perpendicular BF is perpendicular BF upon B, right? Upon B is equal to sine beta, is equal to sine beta. So BF is equal to B sine beta. Correct? If I equate them, what do I get? Okay, so if I equate them, I get a sine alpha is equal to b sine beta. So I get a upon sine beta is equal to b upon sine alpha. Okay. Now what do we get from these two equations right what do we get from these two equations I, I'll again try to write it here okay so so again I'll I'll erase this I'll erase this and, and write it here so we have R upon sine theta is equal to B upon sine alpha is equal to a upon sine beta is equal to a upon sine beta right now what does it mean what alphas and betas and thetas are we talking about and how is it a sine rule it seems as if we are not able to make any heads or tails of it right okay and and it is if you don't look at it like this so so I have I have this triangle, right? I have the triangle. Look at the triangle A, B, and C, right? Look at the triangle A, B, and C. So so let me kind of demarcate it. Okay. Let's say 
I'm talking about this joint. Okay. This and this. Okay. For your convenience, let me erase this. This will give you a clear look of what is there. Okay, so you have this triangle and you have these respective angles of this triangle except for this one, right? This is not there. So, so what is this? If this angle is theta, if this whole is theta, this is theta, then what is this angle? This angle is pi minus theta, right? Fine. Now, what does this rule say? This is the sign rule. And in this format, it, it, it kind of looks pretty weird to us, but it is not. See, if, if it is A, right, this whole length is A upon, upon the sine of the angle that it subtends. That means sine of the opposite angle. What is the angle opposite to, to the side AB in this orange triangle? beta right so what do you do you pick up a side say a and divide it by the opposite angle sine beta this is equal to let us come to b this is b right this is the length b what is the opposite angle alpha so it is sin alpha this is r upon sin pi minus theta which is nothing but sin theta what is sin pi minus theta even multiple sin remains sin right second quadrant it becomes positive so it is actually pi minus theta that appears here. Okay? So it is sine theta. Do we get that? So now you should understand, and again I'll I'll draw your attention to, to math, right? So in math, in math. It appears by the same name, sine rule, and it is something like this. It is something like this. You have any triangle A, B, and C. In maths, the convention is the side opposite this A, which is BC is denoted by the small letter of that angle that is a this is a convention this is the side opposite the angle a so this will be denoted by the small letter a this is a side opposite the angle b so it will be denoted by the small letter b this is the side opposite the angle c so this will be denoted by the small letter c Get that? Now what? <coughs> now what? In maths, this is stated as this you take the side A upon upon sine A. This angle, sine of this angle is equal to B upon the sine of B. And C upon sine C, right? Now you can also say that if if I take the reciprocal of all, they'll also be the same. So 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 this is another 
form in which it is it is represented right but both of them are are nothing but the same thing okay they are nothing but the same thing okay this is the sign rule in maths and what we have shown here is not anything different from what it is in maths it cannot be right it cannot be different fine so this cos and sin rule is something that we can prove but you should be pretty pretty sure about what you are doing and what angles you are taking right otherwise otherwise it will become a bit chaotic here the theta that you take in your cosine formula is that is that angle right that smaller angle between a and b vectors when they are made co initial do not forget that get that when they are made co initial understand theta is the angle co initial means their tails are together right co initial means the tails have been put together the initial point the the, the, the tail that the, what we call the tail is actually called the initial point so initial points come to the same point right so 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 what happens is as I, I i write this theta is the smaller angle between a and b smaller angle between a and b between the vectors a and b when they are made co initial when they have been made be made co initial okay that is important okay this angle that we are taking this is taken in that fashion right so in a sense that does not involve a vector that is just on a just on a triangle correct but on a triangle that has been formed by making uh, 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 on on one part of the triangle that has been formed by making by taking a parallelogram that is made with these two vectors when they have been made coordinate right that you should understand 